Hi, welcome to another video. Using multiple models in one place with a really nice interface can become a hassle. But today, I have something that lets you do just that. This time, it's Photogenius.ai. Photogenius is an image generation platform where you can create some pretty stunning images without any hassle. They offer a bunch of models like Flux Schnell, Dev, Pro, Stable Diffusion 3, Kardinsky, and several others. Apart from that, you can also edit your generated images by selecting an area and prompting it to change to whatever you want, which is also pretty cool. The generations are also really fast. No matter what model you use, you always get the results in less than three seconds, which is insane to think about. It also saves your history so you can go back and forth between your generations. Apart from that, its UI is amazing, super easy to navigate, and visually pleasing overall. Let me show you how you can use it. Once you're signed in, you'll see this cool-looking interface. On the left, you have the generation settings, model options, style options, and prompt options. Then, in the center, you'll see the preview of the generated images. On the right, you'll see the history of your generated images, through which you can go back and forth, which is also pretty cool. Now, let's generate something. Over here in this dropdown, you can select the model you want to use. For example, here's Flux Dev, Flux Schnell, Flux Pro, Stable Diffusion 3, SDXL, and Kardinsky. All of these models are cool, but let's select the Flux Pro model here. Now, you'll need to enter your prompt for what you want to generate. Let's ask it to make a car driving on a highway. Once you've entered the prompt, you can select the style of your picture. There's anime style, painting style, pixel art, oil sketch, or cyberpunk art. You can also select none if you just want your prompt to dictate the style. Let's keep no style here and generate. Then, we'll see the generations in different styles. Anyway, let's hit the generate button over here. We'll need to wait for a very short time here. And it's now generated. You can see the great looking image here, which is really cool. It's super fast as well. Now, let's generate the same thing with the same prompt. But this time, let's select anime over here. Now, let's hit the generate button. It's generating, and it should be pretty fast as well. And here's the image, which looks really good. So, you don't have to go through all the hassle of prompting it to generate in an anime style or something. It does it automatically after selecting a style, which is really cool. You can also use other styles, which is also pretty cool. Now, it's not just limited to that. You can also edit the generated image, which is also really cool. To do that, just go to the Edit option. Now, select the area you want to edit via the Rectangle or Freeform tool. Let's select the car here. Now, enter the prompt to remove it. You can also change the brightness and other settings here as well. Now, let's send it. Okay, it's done. You can see that it's now over here, and the car is removed, which is what we wanted. This is really cool, to say the least. Now, let's also generate another image. This time, let's use SD3. Okay, let's select it over here, and now let's ask it to make a mountain landscape. Let's select the painting style here as well. Let's hit the Generate option over here, and it's generating now. It should be pretty fast too. So, let's wait a bit and see the results. And here's the generation. As you can see, this looks pretty good. So, you can use almost any model here, including SDXL, Flux, and others. Plus, they'll also keep adding new models as they come out, which is going to be really cool to see. Anyway, you can also download the image by clicking this link.
which will take you to the generated image, where you can download it or share it with others, which is also really cool. The history of the images is kept for up to five years, so you don't always need to worry about downloading the images each time, which is also really cool. They also store the prompts, so you don't need to remember them every time either. So, those are the major functionalities. Now, let me also show you the pricing. The pricing is pretty good, considering that you get access to a bunch of models. There's a $20 plan where you get about 1,000 credits per month, along with access to premium AI tools that they'll keep adding in the future, as well as priority support and HD image generation. Then, there's also a $39 plan, which gives you 3,600 credits per month, along with all the other features. But, if you want even cheaper prices, you can use my special coupon code KING25 and get 25% off all memberships, which is amazing. I think this is really good pricing, considering that you get a bunch of models, and they'll keep adding new models, LORAs, and some really good new workflows as well, which is also really cool. It can also generate some really cool stuff. You can look at these images that I've generated, and most of them look very cool. You can generate everything from anime style to painting to pixel art and whatever you want. I think it's one of the best platforms if you want to generate images with all the latest AI models like Flux, Stable Diffusion 3, or any other model. You also don't need any design experience, because they have their own prompt system that they use when you select a style, which is also kind of cool. Plus, Flux is already such a good model that it doesn't need much prompting anyway. So, go ahead and check it out, and don't forget to use my coupon code KING25. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the Super Thanks option below. Or you can also consider becoming a member by clicking the Join button. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.